dry, gritty, burning eyes. If you live with this, you already know how miserable it can be. Doctors call it dry eye disease, and one of the biggest culprits is meibomian gland dysfunction. You see, your eye surface is wet, and the air surrounding it is dry, so water will always be moving off the eye surface. The little meibomian glands positioned along your eyelid squirt out an oily layer that coats the surface of the eye and in the process traps the water on the surface, effectively interrupting that evaporation process. But blocked glands or the wrong oil mix results in the tear film evaporating too fast, leading to unpleasant sensations, vulnerabilities, and real damage. So why do the glands not work? Well, this is biology, so it depends. Age, hormones, insulin resistance, or too much screen time can all change the oil recipe. And then invasions can happen. After all, stressed environments often create opportunities. This is why you catch a cold the week of finals. Better body chemistry's revenge. Now, almost everyone has a few Dermadex folliculorum mites living among their lashes. Their presence is usually uneventful. A group of researchers in Beijing wondered if these usual eyelash residents were not contributing to meibomian gland difficulties. So, they looked at 119 people already diagnosed with dry eye disease. Eyelashes were plucked, the number of mites counted, and symptoms assessed. Sure enough, those with mites had worse scores across the board. They felt worse, registering higher symptom scores. This is reflected by that ocular surface disease index. In this case, a lower score is better. Their tear film broke apart quicker. When mites were around, it clocked in at 4.2 seconds versus 5 seconds for the mite-free people. The corneas also showed more tiny injury spots. What didn't change was the Schirma test. This is a measure of tear production, confirming this is a story about evaporation, not water shortages. The researchers also noted that the glands themselves looked worse. Oopsie! It might be tempting to conclude mites cause dry eye disease. Mm, this is highly unlikely. It's probably more a case of they make a bad situation worse amplifying the instability that's already there. Think of them as squatters moving into a crumbling building. As their numbers rise, they bring their enzymes and bacteria, and that changes the chemistry of the eyelid oils even more. The point is, you don't want these guys playing in the mix. So if your eyes are dry, don't just think bottles of drops. The oil layer matters, and in some cases, mites are part of the picture. The good news? There is a simple at-home routine you can try that can help rein in those mites. Learn all about it in the Lash Mite Challenge. You'll find the link in the description below. You'll get it.